name is Amanda Rose. I'm a strategic connector and CEO of the Businesswoman Media. People do believe that branding is solely owned by an organisation or a logo or a company when in fact branding is every single person. So every person on this planet has a brand and either they're managing it or someone else is managing it for them. For an individual to create or cultivate their own brand is crucial for the career. They need to be different to everyone else. They are going for jobs, they're looking for promotions, and the only way they will stand out is if they have a unique selling point and a unique position in the marketplace, and that is only developed by developing their own brand. Now, to begin to develop your own brand requires quite a few steps, but the core of it is to know your values. So to understand who you are, what you represent in life, I always say that if you woke up tomorrow and everyone was gone, your entire family, including your job, everything disappeared, who are you? What would get you out of bed? So you need to know your values, you need to know your purpose, what's your purpose for being on this planet? So where do you want to be in five years time? Because every decision you make from now until then needs to lead you to that goal. You need to have a passion for something. So if you hate where you work, you need to move or change industries, but understand what that passion is and have a positive attitude because no one wants to hire you or do business with someone with a negative attitude. When it comes to relationships and strategic branding, it is crucial. So the, they say that you are the five people you hang around the most, and you are. So you need to be very careful about who you spend your time with. You need to make sure that they're, you're learning from them, they're developing you as an individual, and they're not pulling away from your brand. So aligning yourself with people with the same values as you is very important. If they're not, you need to move away from them. You also need to be strategic with the type of people you want to build relationships relationships with that will enhance your brand and help you reach that ultimate goal. And that takes time and research. So when it comes to individual, an individual brand and a company brand, a company can make a mistake but survive it because they've got a massive support system and let's face it, they've got the money and it affects a bit of their bottom line. But when it comes to an individual, it can destroy their brand. So you make one mistake on Twitter and it's you looking, you know, you're looking for a career or a promotion, you can get sacked straight away. So it can destroy the individual. So there's more, you could say, danger with managing a brand as an individual than there is a company.